Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Um, this isn't another review um, video. This is actually another do-it-yourself video. Um, in one of my most recent videos, I did mention how I had started making my own perfumes, my own solid perfumes, and how well they were turning out. So I figured I would share that with you. Um, I mean, I never, I mean, even two years ago, like, I never even would have considered making my own perfumes, thinking that, like, they would smell cheap, you know, um, and, and not be anything up to par with something I could buy at a department store, and I was completely wrong. Um, when you start to get the hang of blending scents and putting the, the right amount of um, base notes, middle notes, and top notes, and then you can really create something that is um, up to par with, with something that you would sample behind the um, counter of Macy's or Nordstrom's. And this one in particular um, is one of them. Um, this this was my second. This is my second try. Mm, God, I love it. So that's um this was a face gel jar that I emptied out. Um there's only a little bit of face gel left and it filled it up about halfway, just a uh, one recipe, a one dose recipe. The reason it's charred in there is because I'll get to that in a minute. And then my first shot um was this. This was an empty eye cream container from Elf and it the recipe filled that up almost the whole way. And even this smells absolutely gorgeous. This actually smells something. This smells really close to one of the, um, um, God, I can't, like, uh, the Bergamot and Audi. I can't remember who it, who it's from. It's, um, a big name out there, but it's, it's very close to that, um, as far as, any of that, but, um, I choose, I was me, I did have my experience in making liquid perfumes, like spray perfumes, where they could have been put in roller bowls, and they turned out very well, um, I, they take a little bit more patience, because once you have the recipe put together, you, you have to kind of store them in a dark place for, up, like, up to two weeks minimum, and make sure you shake them a couple times a day, um, and then they're ready, and they, they turned out very well. Um, I gave some away as gifts, and people love them. Um, and then I read about, I came across this do-it-yourself solid perfume, and the benefits of this are, it, you still get a very, as strong of a smell as from a spray-on perfume or a roll-on perfume, but the benefits you get is because of the beeswax in this recipe, it's a, a you get a longer lasting scent. It lasts a lot longer. Um, not just when you put it on, but the product itself. Um, so I'll give I'm going to tell give you the basics of how I made it. It does take as far as coming up with the scents. It does take some practice. If you, you know, go on Google that you can find a, cu there are a couple recipes out there for, for, for beginners. You know, people who posted their favorite scent mixtures. Um, I, you don't always, you don't have to use top, middle, and base notes, but I always do. Um, and it, it's, um, it always works out great. Um, so this is my this is my favorite one. This um uh, I love like products that have like a lemon based scent and this is what this 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 reminds me there's this perfume out on the market. It's a it's an expensive perfume. I can't pronounce it, but it's a lemon based scent and this reminds me so much of that. I mean this smells like a drugstore perfume and um like right now, it's really warm, so it's kind of melted. Yeah, and I'll just put it on the major pulse points like you would any other perfume. My collarbone, maybe my chest area, wrists. 
and if it's like if it's if it's um not soft enough to where I feel like I'm getting enough on my finger, I'll take my lighter and hold my lighter up to it for like five seconds, um, and then I get a good amount. On my that's where all the charring you see is coming from. But um, when I first made this, I didn't say anything. I I put it on um. Because it literally takes about 10 minutes to make, 10 minutes to be ready to wear. I didn't say a word. I just put it on. And when my fiancé came home that night, he like he noticed that like he was like oh my god you smell so good what do you you know did you buy a new perfume i was like no i made it and he absolutely couldn't believe it but and it's so simple i mean i'm gonna tell you it all it takes is beeswax jojoba oil and then your essential oils i have like a whole crap load of collections um the essential oils that you use to make the scent blend and like I said for beginners there's some um, recipes online and then when you start experimenting for yourself um, you'll you'll you learn you, you start to learn what uh, what um, essential oils go with other essential oils like you start to learn like what base notes go best with lemon and the you know middle notes on um, what mix best with jasmine and all of that nonsense um but as you get further into it when you are experimenting with the, the blends make sure you always write down like what you're what you're experimenting with because if you come across something that you really really love it would be such a shame like to turn around and make it again you can't remember what essential oils or how many drops that each used so it's very very simple what you do is you take a tablespoon you create a double boiler if you don't have one um i always i always use just the mason jar and and um in a pot of water so you create a double boiler and you put a tablespoon of the beeswax pellets in and you turn it on between low and medium and after the beeswax pellets are pretty much melted you add a tablespoon of the of the jojoba oil as the base oil um and then here the deal is like while the beeswax pellets are melting or if you're still very unsure of yourself, even before you put the beeswax pellets into the double boiler, you need to get your scent mixed together. Because once you take this stuff off the stove, it hardens really fast. And you need to have that scent mixture dumped in and mixed up real good before it even starts to harden. Um, now the one that I love, that's the, le the lemon scent base, um... I can't remember exactly what I used for this. I used a bunch of, like, because you can use more than one top, no, more than one middle, more than one base. I know I used lemon, um, vervetter, orange, uh, sweet orange, um, sandalwood, and I think a couple drops of grapefruit, but it turned out really well. And then this one is actually my fiance's favorite, and if if this didn't have such a nice um subtle lemon base to it this would be my favorite because it does it smells like that bergamot and out perfume that i got a sample from um god i can't remember i can't remember i can't that i don't remember the retailer's name but with this one i do i used 20 drops of jasmine 20 drops of jasmine, 15 drops of bergamot, and then 10 drops of sandalwood is what it was. And mix, um, me, ugh, sorry, and like, um, and you start it by adding just one drop of each and then mixing it together with a toothpick. And if you like this smells, then you start adjusting. Um, and you can start adding 
the oil, adding the oils to balance out the scent until you have it where you like it. And then once you have the scent mixed, put the um, beeswax in the double boiler. It doesn't take long for it to melt. Once it's almost completely melted, you add the jojoba oil and then the rest of the beeswax will melt completely. You turn the stove to off and as quick as you do that, dump in the little mixture of essential oils. Mix that in real good and then dump it real quick into your container and have that ready. And then within 10 minutes, it's all hardened up and you have your finished product. It is that simple to make. Like I said, the hardest part, especially for beginners, um, is going to be your scent creations. Uh, the lemon one was my own and I did exactly what I told you not to do. I didn't write down exactly what oils I use and how many drops of each. Um, so, I mean, I'm sure I can recreate it, but this one, um, the first one I did, and I think the reason it turned out so well was because I did get the recipe off of a very seasoned do-it-yourselfer. I'm um, making their perfumes. And I I'm starting to practice, like, different do-it-yourself things. Like, my next project is um, making my own lotion bars because Christmas is coming up and... Um, this is going to be a do-it-yourselfer because I've learned how to make so many different things. I make a great mascara recipe, if you can see my lashes. Um, setting spray, I make a wonder, I make a really good lip exfoliator, lip scrub. Um, I make a really nice moisturizing peppermint vanilla lip balm. Um, I make a, uh, very a very nice honey honey facial soap bar and then my next project's going to be my lotion bars um and i will share them with you when i get them down and also the solid perfumes um for the women in my life um the idea i got off the internet which is what i'm going to use for christmas is you make the perfumes and you pour the mixture into empty lockets um like necklaces so they'll have a heart locket necklace and inside is their perfume and my mom who is completely 100% honest with me at all times no matter how much she, she thinks I might hurt my feelings it was even like very impressed with how these turned out and wanted to get was trying to get her hands on one early I said no 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 um so it's like really good Christmas. I mean, my Christmas this year is going to be very cheap because I've I've taken the time to learn. I mean, I make um really nice lip glosses now. Um, I make a nice cream do-it-yourself highlighter. Um, if that's something you would like me to share, if that's a recipe you'd like me to share, let me know. Um, but I just figured I'd just share this with you because it's something that takes no time, very few ingredients, just a little bit of practice, and you have great smelling products, not only for yourself, but to gift give, you know, like the idea I got with pouring the perfume into the empty lockets, and then of course, um, they also have, um recipe like cologne recipe scents that are good for men and i have like the perfect tiny little jars um to pour them into for like the men of my life as part of their christmas packet so i hope you enjoyed it um if you do enjoy the do my do-it-yourself videos please comment and let me know um I don't, I see, I don't get a lot of watchers, I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong, or if it's just not a topic of interest, but if it is, let me know, because I'll continue to share, I mean, there, these recipes, I didn't come up with them, I came across them, and they just happened to be, I mean, I must have, I like with the mascara, I went through four different recipes before I found one that's like really good and waterproof and like up there with Sephora brands 
Um, so, just let me know in the comments. Um, I'll be happy to share my lavender. Uh, well, my lavender bars. I'll be doing a, a bunch of different lotion bars. But I know I'll be doing like lavender and vanilla. Um, things of that nature. And I am going to be starting my soap bars. Um, facial soap for the women. You know, body, uh, cologne scented body soap for the men. But please, please let me know because I, I would love the feedback and I would love to share these things with you so that I can help you make Christmas more special for your loved ones because the gifts are come from the heart. They're, they're self-made and it really does save so much money. Um, it, it's unbelievable how much money it saves when you're able to make all your Christmas presents. But as always, I'm rambling. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you give this a try. If you do, let me know down in the comments how it turned out for you. Or if you're having problems getting it right, feel free to put any question in the comments. And I will help steer you in the right direction. Um, until next time, I hope you have a good day. And good luck with this recipe.